What's up guys, it's the BMD Burst Daily. Back in today, I got an awesome build to share with you guys. This is based off of the Two Towers book and movie uh, from the Lord of the Rings series. Now this is a two-part uh, kind of mock video. Uh, so I'll have this one uh, from the first tower, and then in about a week I'll have the second build of the second of the two towers. So let's get straight into this build. So like I said, this is the first of the two towers based off of books and movies of Lord of the Rings. Uh, this is the Tower of Orthanc, or some may just call it Isengard. But first I want to talk a little bit about the book stand and why, why I made this build. Uh, this was, of course, for a Books Come to Life event with my own personal lug or LEGO users group that I'm a member of. Um, I built this little book stand for this whole mock, and uh, later um, in uh, coming weeks and months, you'll probably end up seeing more builds uh, related to books. I know I have at least two more uh, that are already ready and, and I need to make videos on, but let's get straight into this build. So, Isengard, or the Tower of Orthanc, this was a really fun build. Um, it, it was pretty simple, pretty small, didn't take too long. Um, I'm not sure if I ended up having help with someone else, but uh, I may have to shout out my friend Ben, who uh, um, I was working on this while he was working on something else, or we may have been collaborating. I can't remember. It was a couple months ago when I when I built this, but I do remember that it was uh, there were a few challenges uh, inside this build, and a couple of them were the trees and the kind of pathways and, and uh, uh, exterior detail. Of course, the trees are are pretty simple design. They're using the six pronged um, flower bouquet pieces, where you uh, you put two on either side of each other, um, and then you put all the little green pieces around them to make a, a nice little rounded tree. So I have uh, a few of these here on the build, a couple of different colors, some different shades of green. I may need to get some more of these, but I built a few trees around here. And then, like I said, the paths and, and pretty much the light gray that you see on here was really difficult. I was working on lots of different techniques to try and get this rounded shape, and uh, I, I just couldn't find something um, especially round or small enough to fit uh, inside this box. So I ended up using um, just these little uh, tiles on top of uh, little um, 1x4 hinge pieces. It's like a 1x2 and 1x2 put together that makes that nice little hinge. So you can see I made a nice little circle there. Then uh, you can see there's a couple little pathways around here. Um, I believe in the actual movie, the tower may have been shifted about 45 degrees, um, and the uh, corners of the tower would be facing uh, each of the pathways. But I had to, I had to do what I could there. Um, like many LEGO designers say, uh, when they're sculpting or creating something, sometimes they can't put every single detail in, but they want to make sure they highlight the most important ones. The last thing I needed to comment on was the border. For both of these two tower builds, I have the same border, this uh, little black kind of one brick tall with some uh, tiles on top border. Uh, I'm really happy with how it turned out. I know lots of people have used this technique before. Lego itself does in their diorama builds. I just, I had to, had to think of something to bring these two builds together, something that would be the same, so that it, it kind of looked like it was from the same vein. So I just went with the little black border around here, and I thought it turned out pretty well. Then we have the tower. Now the tower was a pretty simple build. It wasn't too difficult um, until I got to a certain point. Now, speaking of points, the four points on the Tower of Orthanc are, are a very specific shape, which I'm not exactly sure if I recreated very well here. You'll have to tell me in the comments if you think it's it's uh, well designed. Um, but I, I did what I could. I used these one by four um, kind of sloped pieces to to get that shape kind of across, to get the four points across to people. Um, and then I have a two by two tile, which you can see fits right in the middle there. Um, it kind of the the corners fit into the anti studs, so it's all nice and compact there, where Gandalf might have been have been uh, trapped up there for a while during that movie. Thanks a lot for watching this video, guys, on this little Tower of Orthanc build. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, tell me in the comments if you have any ideas for videos, or if you want to see some more Lord of the Rings uh, related content. I really really love Lord of the Rings, so I'd be happy to build anything from that series. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. This is BMD out. Thank you.